Um, usually it's not a single factor, it's a combination of factors, right? So uh, many of these events would have happened even under natural circumstances. The question really is if, if you've got anthropogenic factors on top of whatever natural variations there are, are you actually changing the probability of these kinds of events, right? If you're, if by having these uh, anthropogenic forcings or, uh, you know, greenhouse gases and those kinds of things, are you making these kinds of events either stronger or more probable, uh, that is, they come more frequently? Those are the uh, things you can say. You can't say this is entirely because of climate change because you don't know. I mean, this could have uh, happened in the past, we just didn't observe it. So there's no way to say this is only because of climate change. It is that you can at most or at best say the uh, probability of this has increased or decreased as the case may be. So there, there's two things here. One is, uh, the, you know, if you look at the statistics of uh, very heavy rainfall, for example, you know, whether that has changed and whether uh, that has been attributed to uh, anthropogenic forcing is one kind of a, uh, an attribution problem. The other kind of attribution problem is if you take a particular event, let's say the Uttarakhand floods, right? That kind of a heavy rainfall or the heat wave that happened last summer or even the Mumbai rainfall of many years ago now, 10 years ago, um, that's a very specific event. Did that change because of anthropogenic forcing? That's a slightly different question. Now, the first question many people have tried to address and uh, over, you know, uh, over India specifically, I am not aware of anybody that's looked at an attribution. People have registered a change in the statistics of these kinds of events, but they have not tried, nobody's, uh, to the best of my knowledge, tried to attribute it to human causes. Now, uh, if you look at it as a more global thing, uh, people have looked at, including the Indian region, many uh, other parts of the world included. They've looked at extreme rainfall, extreme uh, temperatures. So in, in, a, in a collective sense, people have been able to attribute it to varying degrees between temperature and rainfall to anthropogenic or human causes. That's been done. But uh, when you look at these specific events that I talked about, those events, you know, uh, people have, been looking now for about a f half a dozen years, five, six years uh, at various kinds of events and none so far over the Indian region. These have all been done over various other regions, typically where, you know, if there's a scientist who sees something happening in his backyard and says, hey, let me find out, right? So that's been what's happening. But more and more now people are looking at different parts of the world. And I think uh, India is, uh, should be next. Right. So, so if if uh, you know if there was no human influence, so let's or let, you know for um, for example, if we look at uh, the weather systems might have been before the industrial revolution or in some parallel planet where everything is the same as Earth, except there are no human beings, right, doing all, all the things that we do. So um, if you look at the statistics of such a planet versus the statistics of what our current planet is, then you can say, okay, in the other counterfactual planet, as it were, you, what would the probability of an event such as this. And you can compare that to the probability of the event as our observations tell us. Now, unfortunately, we don't have that 
you know, analog planet with no human beings. So you, you kind of estimate that probability. So uh, use models and various techniques to get at that probability. So once you have this probability of what would have been without humans and what is with humans, you can say whether the probability went up or down or didn't change. So if the probability actually went down, um, which is quite possible for kinds of events, say, you know, cold waves, mm -hmm. right? You would have fewer cold waves in a warmer planet. So the risk of those kinds of events has gone down, but maybe other kinds of event, the probability has gone up. So the, um, the fractional attributable risk, therefore, is what, what's the change in that probability, which is really uh, a fraction of your current probability, is what, what fraction of the risk can you attribute to the difference between having humans and no humans. Many of these things come late to our country. We go, we see, we learn, we bring it back. We put our own spin on it and try and make it work. So uh, the, the, the science has been there. It's still a young science in the sense that there are still uh, people innovating in terms of the methodologies to use and, you know, uh, and how how rigorously you do uh, various statistical tests. Uh, it's 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 not straightforward. Uh, it it all looks very simple, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of uh, techniques in there that are not for the faint of heart. So so you it it is not uh, that you know it's a simple thing to do and why haven't we done it? It's it's not that straightforward. It takes a commitment in terms of investing uh, manpower and other resources. This is a very computationally intensive uh, enterprise. There's, uh, and, 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 uh, but the thing is that there are, there are players coming into this uh, that are interested in, uh, and by players I mean research groups who do this, uh, who are interested in looking at this in the Indian context because uh, ultimately, the, the strength of a technique or all of that depends on many factors. A, how good the models are, B, how good the observations are, and, and fundamentally even, you know, whether your technique itself is scientifically sound. So it's, it's a test of all of these. So, so to be able to do it in our part of the world also helps them. So. So we are hoping that we will do this uh, in collaboration and build our own capabilities or, or at least be able to make some definitive statements about events that happen here. Absolutely not. This is science. We <laughs> will we'll, we'll have it when we have it.